بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم my second secondary students welcome we have today revision on module 4 page 53 the title here is human nature what's a human children women old people and we have nature what's nature is the way people think and feel in general so on page 53, we have the objectives for this mutual. Learn how to refer to hypothetical situations in the past. Learn how to express wishes and regret, sorry, about something in the past. Talk about various aspects of a human nature. Learn how to ask for and give advice. Learn how to write a letter giving advice and a book review. Acquire skills and strategies that will help you in the exam. Let's start with page one. We have uh, pay the first uh, lesson. On page 54, we have reading for a reading. We have shared your most embarrassing moments. We have talked about uh, three people, about uh, their uh, embarrassing situations and moments. Then we have vocabulary and grammar on page 55. We have vocabulary, the meaning of uh, phrases, expressions with most and least in the context. We have some phrases and expressions include most or least with different and various meanings. Then we have the grammar conditional sentences type three. What about this? On page 55, we have conditional sentences type three. Look at the sentence. If he had saved enough money, he would have bought a new laptop. So we have here sentence, conditional contains of uh, F here. The sentence contains F. If close, F plus past perfect, which is had plus past participle. We have here F plus had plus past participle. If he saved enough money, the other, the main clause here is would have plus past participle we can use would or could or might so here if he had saved enough money this is comma he would have bought a new laptop this type is three so we use here had plus past participle with if clause with the main clause would or could or might plus the past participle what if you switch? We start with the other sentence, the main clause. He could have, he might have, caught the six o'clock. So we have here could, might, or would, plus, have, plus the past participle of the verb, the six o'clock train, if he had left before five. We omit, we delete the comma, we don't use here a comma because we start with the main clause. If he had left before five, the same grammar here, if plus had plus the past participle. This is in the past. So we use a conditional sentences type three in the past. How we form a sentence with negative here. We want to form a negative conditional sentences type three. We need to back here to this one. If you had not lied to me before. So when I start with if clause, I have to write a comma after this clause. If you had, we use if plus had plus past participle. And we have uh, add not. If you had not lied to me before, 
I would have believed you. I would have believed you. So I use here would plus have plus the past participle of the verb. So here, conditional sentences type 3, we use it in the past. What about conditional sentences type 1? Just to take a quick revision about type 1. If it rains, I will stay at home. What about the tenses here? The tenses in present and future. Also with conditional sentences type 2. For example, if I had wings, I would fly away. So all these two types, number 1 and 2, we are talking about the present and the future. Whereas conditional sentences type 3, it's in the past. Let's move to 4A. We have listening and reading on page 56. We have talking about the overweight. Is it a serious problem? We have talked about both health and unhealth ways of losing weight. And we focus on Mary's problem, talking to her uh, friend. Then we have vocabulary and grammar on page 57. Vocabulary and grammar. With vocabulary, we have idioms. What is idiom? A group of words with a special meaning and do not always make sense literally. For example, a piece of cake, it means easy. It not means, uh, uh, it doesn't mean a piece of cake literally. When I say uh, my exam was as a piece of cake, it means that my exam uh, is easy. What about the grammar on page 57? We are talking about here, uh, see this, two men, one of them uh, here, this one is talking in English, the other one, he said, I can't understand English. What about this? I wish, we have the grammar, wish and unreal past. I wish I spoke English. Here we have, I wish I had learned English. So we are talking about wishes and unreal past. Things happened. You wish that it, you have it now, but it's not uh, exist. For example, I wish I spoke English. This man, now he can't understand English. So he wish that he spoke. This is the past uh, tense of speak. Speak, then we have spoke. What about here? I wish I had learned English. Past perfect simple consists of had plus past participle. This is about uh, unreal past. I wish I had learned English. We can say here, the, uh, you can find, uh, sorry, you can find irregular verbs on page 81 for the verbs, for example, speak, learn, and other verbs on page 81. But the regular verbs are just, you have to add ed. This here we can use, I wish I had in the past, and here we use it present or future. So wish here, we use this form in present or future, and that one used, we use this in the past. Wish or if only. I wish I spoke English. If only I spoke English. Here also we can. I wish I had learned English or if only I had learned English. If only I could borrow your brain. If only here we use could plus the base form of the verb. Why I use here if only I could borrow. Look here. Something you can't do. Have you ever borrowed someone's brain? No, it's impossible. So something you can do, we use this form. If, only, plus here the subject, plus could and borrow in the base form your brain. 
Look at the sentence. If only I hadn't spent time playing. This is in the past. If only I had not. The same of this grammar, but it is negative. I hadn't spent time playing. I wish I were very smart. This is here in present. Is this man smart? He, he, uh, he does not actually, so he wish. I wish I were very smart. Look here, we use where. Even it is I or with a he, she, it, we use where as this form. I wish. Then here the subject, then we add where. Don't use was because it is different. Then let's move to 4A listening and speaking on page 58. We have a problems and issues uh, and how to solve a problems. Uh, ask for advice. Here you uh, ask someone uh, for advice. Then we have 4A, 4A writing on page 59. We have writing, this is the first topic. A letter giving advice. So you have to write a letter giving advice for someone ask for. When you are writing a letter giving advice, follow the outline below. What's the outline? What's the most important things? We have a greeting. Use the person's first name because it is informal. You have to use person's first name. Then we have opening paragraph. Refer to the problem and say why you are writing. This is opening paragraph. Then we have main parts. One or two paragraphs. Main parts. Give your advice and make suggestions. Give your opinion. Closing paragraph. Make a final comment. Then we have signing off. Use a signature ending and your first name below that. For example, you use here, use the person's first name, uh, for example, um, Ahmed or uh, Amal, and you have to sign here with your only first name, uh, whatever, just the first name. Then let's move to 4B, reading on page 60. We have the telepathy, uh, we are, have talking about twins and uh, girls or boys, uh, sister and brothers. Uh, we are uh, specific talking about twins, so the, uh, the text is about telepathy. Then we have vocabulary and grammar, page 61. What about here? The vocabulary consists of three parts. The first part is lexical set which is a group of words under one topic, which is parts of the body. Then we have words easily confused. Many words uh, have similar meanings. And we have a phrasal verbs. What about the grammar? We have talking about on page 62, we have all, both, neither, none, and we have question tags. The grammar consists of two parts. The first one, all, both, neither, none. Let's uh, revise them together. Look here, we can see the teacher and we can see students. How many students? There are more than three. So the teacher said, all of you read the story, all of you. Here, the teacher. The same teacher with this student, they are reading now. So here they have closed books. He said, none of you reads the story. Here, all of you, you are a student, all of you read the story. Here the opposite, none of you, no one of you read the story. We have none. We can say none of you read or reads this story. This is here. The sentence here is affirmative, but the meaning is negative. The meaning is negative. The last one, uh, the next story, we have the teacher with only two students. 
both of you read the story. Both of you read the story. Because we have only two, we use both. Also, we have two students here. Neither of you read the story. No one of these two students, we use neither. So the opposite of both, because we use it for two, both the opposite is neither or neither of you read or reads the story. It has affirmative, it is affirmative sentence, but it is a meaning negative. Then we have here the teacher, just one of them read the story, either of you reads the story. Not all, not both of you, we use either or either, just one of you read the story or reads, sorry, read the story. We have to write S reads the story. Look at both plus and, Ali and Ahmed. Both Ali and Ahmed read their stories. So we can write here the names and we have to write and to join these two. Neither or neither Ali nor Ahmed. With neither we use nor. Neither Ali nor Ahmed read their stories. No one of them. So we, we use nor with neither. It is uh, here. It is negative in the meaning only. But the sentence is affirmative. Look here. Either Ali or Ahmed read his story. One of them. So we use or. With either we use or. With neither we use nor. With both we use and. Then we have question tags. You know that. You know what I mean. This is a sentence. You know what I mean. Then we have a comma. Don't you? This is the question tag. You know what I mean. Don't you? What about the other sentence? Look. You don't have so much spare time. You don't have so much spare time. This is a sentence. But we, ha we put here a comma because we want to complete with question tag, which is, don't, uh, do you? What's the difference between these two? You know what I mean, don't you? You don't have so much spare time, do you? Look at the sentence here. It is positive. You know, this is positive. It's not contain any negative. So with tag question here, here must be negative. Whereas the, here, the negative sentence, you don't have so much spare time, the question tag must be positive. The opposite means. If the sentence here is positive, question tag must be negative. If the sentence here is negative, question tag must be positive. Question tags are short questions placed at the end of the sta of a statement. We use them when we are not sure of something. Sorry, we have to go back <coughs> to complete the grammar. Here. Uh, something to ask for confirmation and question tags here. are formed with an auxiliary and personal pronoun. If the statement is positive, the question tag is negative. If the statement is negative, the question tag is positive. We have here, uh, I mean, we have to change it to don't you, because we don't have do. We have to write it here. Uh, if I say, it is beautiful, isn't it? We use the same pronoun. We don't change. Then we have listening and speaking on page 63. We have describing people, the plurbs from the five different novels. Then we have 4B writing on page 54 and 50, sorry, 64 and 65. 4B writing, 64 and 65, which is the last uh, task here in this module, a book review. 
When you are writing a book review, follow the outline below. We have introduction, main parts, and conclusion. Give some general information about the book. Main parts consist of two or three paragraphs. Give a brief summary, comment on significant aspects, the important aspects of the book. Then we have conclusion, state your opinion, and make a recommendation. That's all for revision on module four. Uh, for more information, please visit website A and Twitter account. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.